Welcome back. Recently, we bought two PlayStation 3 Move controllers. We tried to reset, no good. We can only get them working when using a ton of cables. In today's video, we're going to get this working wirelessly again. And it's cheap to boot. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. This controller doesn't line up when no cables connected. We tried recharging and also a reset, so we can be fairly sure that the battery is dead. Thankfully, we can get them quite cheap online. Here's AliExpress, they got two for $12. Package from China. And here's a mint. Yum. This took around a week to get to my place, and we get a nice little box. Inside, there are two items, and nothing else. We get a small set of tools. This one on the right is a small posi driver, and it spins around. Beverly can spin on me any time. This blue one here is a prying tool. Even though this looks like a used tissue, it's actually two compatible batteries. Apparently, this is a 3.7 volt, 2000 milliamp battery. We can check the values later against the original. So now we need to unscrew and open this move controller. There are four screws here, 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 and here. How many teenage girls does it take to screw in a light bulb? One. She'll be on the phone for five hours telling her friends about how John Luke is a stud. When we're finished, we give it a little shake. Now to carefully pry it open. This is like how you found your way into your dad's adult movie collection. Hot, but only if you like shoot back. Now that we can see the battery, we can remove it. Now I'm going to carefully use a screwdriver to pull it out by the white tab. According to these values, the new battery has around 600 milliamps more capacity. But as this is a cheap third-party product, I predict it's actually slightly less. And if you want a bit more girth, you can use some double-sided sticky tape. Now to connect the new battery. And once it's in, we can close the case. Case closed. We can now check that it works. And yes, we have power. Now for the four screws. Check if it still works. And we can even give it a shake. Now to pair it to our PlayStation. First connect it directly using a mini USB cable, then hold the PlayStation button. Now it's paired, we can remove the cable. And now finally, we can use it to play games. Like this one here. Just Dance 2014. Yeah! I'm the Ghostbuster! Busting makes me feel good. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!